Hello everybody and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. Back here continuing on with the fully modded series and the aim for today is to cover our last gun in the series, the M16. So we've got some rather lovely mods made up for the M16. If I can get over to my gunsmith bench I'll let you all have a look at them. Right then, so mod wise, I believe I've actually still got a couple left to finalise, so let's do that now. I have made a fair few of the magazines. We have also got the X2 scope, and I've just finished the X8. And then we've got the handmade silencer, the full silencer, a red laser, and the green laser. So the M16 actually undergoes the least physical change from all of the mods than every other gun in the game. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to go from this to this. So it's not actually a major change. Now I'll explain why I've gone for these mods as my base set to run. If we remove that one quickly. So I've gone for that magazine there. So the reason I've done that is it gives a massive boost to stability, a decent boost to speed, which is going to be important. You'll see why. And a decent increase to the crit chance. However, the large magazine increases the damage a bit, decreases stability a fair chunk, and that's about it. Increases durability by about six or seven shots. So what I'll do is we'll have two of them. We'll have one that's set up like that, and we'll have another that is set up go okay, like that way. Is that correct? Ah, need to put that one in there. There we go. So we'll have those two. However, we are going to go out on a raid first, so let me just change all of the, well, two of them to silence ones. So here we go. The stability on that is now shockingly low, so if we add that one, boom, stability goes up a lot higher. Now, just want to make sure these have all got the correct stability mods before we head out. Ah, need to actually have our scope on there. Ah, uh, that was silly. Clicked the wrong button and wiped it out. There we go. So that is going to be the default one that we always run. However, for the purpose of the raid, let's go for that one and let's go for that one. There we go. Now, is the last one silenced? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to complete a couple of raiders tasks and then we'll head out. Our target for today's raid is player 6296. Now, I was a bit sad when I logged in today and saw that the mercenary event it's kind of odd. If you look, there's no timer there. It also doesn't have a difficulty. I think the mercenaries are now a permanent thing. I'll go over there and check that out in a minute. But it looks like the per mercenaries are now just here for good. Seems like the devs decided not to remove them. Okay, so not the best raid to be testing our lovely gun on because it seems like we could actually kill everything here with the sheer amount of spikes. Now, oh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna check online for this because I don't want to mess it up. I'm back, I apologize for that. I realized I kind of left my C4 at home, so ended my own life to go and get some again. There we go, let's get equipped again, that's better. And let's fix our durability order. That goes there, that goes there, that one goes in there, and one of these C4 will go in a box because we're only going to need the one. There you go. Perfect. Right then, so the place where we actually want to break in is nowhere around here. These sections are all relatively empty. It seems like they're hiding. The best stuff, or at least their main storage room, is back here at this door, which also weirdly has the least amount of spike walls next to it. Which to me makes absolutely no sense, but hey ho, if that's how this person wants to defend his base, who am I to judge, especially if it- Damn, okay. Right. That, that there is a hundred heat sensors. And it looks like all the other zombies are dying to the spikes before they even get to us. There we go, let's take you out. Yeah, see, with the lowered stability, it misses just too much. 
So the M16, as it is, is not a particularly good weapon for using on raids. Because, yeah, the sheer amount I'm missing. Sheer amount, not sure amount. Right, let me refresh this, work out where the good items are. This box is one of the ones that we're going to want to break into. You will see why in a sec. Okay, there was not that many guns in there when I watched this video. There are a lot more in there now. So, the big boys are making it through to us. But it looks like basically every other zombie is dying to the spikes. Look at that. That is nice. That is a very lovely gun raid. Let's use this. Let's heal up. Let's use our sniper shot. Okay, so yeah. We were quite close to him there, so we only did 58 damage. However, one sniper shot takes the damage, does the damage, no, what was it? Takes the durability of two normal shots. So, and if you are far enough away, you can, I believe, get a sniper shot to do over 100 damage, which is ridiculous. Now, we will also stash a couple of Glocks, purely so I can have this complete stat line of 100 heat sensors like that, because it's nice and pleasing to look at. And let's reorganize these. There we go. Right then, back to looting. Oh, you know what? I've got my bike. I might as well... Might as well cycle over there. Being careful not to accidentally zone out, because that will mean that I increase the noise. And don't bike into... Oh, you don't take damage. Oh, you do take damage, spiking into spikes. Can't get off your bike here. Well, provided the bike just isn't really far away, so I don't have to run a mile to get to it, I don't mind. Let's grab that one. Let's grab that one. Oh, didn't mean to do it like that. There we go. This is a very nice raid so far. Okay, let's go for this one. It's next to a box with guns and a box of heat sensors. Let's hope for something good. Uh, turret parts. I'm not going to take turret parts. As nice as they are, I don't really need them. I don't use the turrets. And they appear to be all of the boxes this person breaks. This box here that I'm circling now, if you get this base, this box is absolutely full of USBs and phones. And that one has a ton of gold bars in it. However, I'm not interested in either of those items. I've got more than enough of my own. Okay, don't particularly want any of them. Let's see what's in this box here. I've got no idea. Let's find out. Um, bunch of tickets. Tickets are always nice to have. Hello, zombies. So, to me, it looks like the other zombies aren't even spawning nearby. At least, that's what I'm taking it as. Is this a... Ah, that is a C4 wall there. Yeah, and that's C4 wall. Is that a metal wall down here? You know what? This box is placed on a metal floor. This has got to be where their best stuff is. An electronic circuit. I spoke too soon. What are we getting in here? Um, transistors. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's going to be good stuff in the little chests, unfortunately. Right, what are we going to... Yep, that's a ton of gold bars. I was right. There we go. Okay, let's try and at least make sure we're happy with the inventory we've got before we blow open the next box. Blow open the next box? Just open the next box. Hmm. I kind of want to go for this one here and see what we get in it. And we have found a single gun oil. Okay. Wrench. We'll be able to open this one before the big one gets to us. Uh, we already knew what was in that one. Uh, and I wasted a make it. Alright, well that was a really nice raid. I'm happy with that. You know what? Let's test out our lovely sniper shot at a rest stop event. Because if we get a certain event here, there's two that we can get. We might be able to do a nice sneaky long distance shot on one of the... Well, they're not raiders, are they? One of the mercenary survivor people. Okay. So got this one. I'm not sure if this is going to be the one where he betrays me or not. Well, that shot did, what was that, 40 damage to him or 60 damage? Now we're just going to run away from him. Going to keep our distance. That has almost reset. 
But that did a lot of damage to him, and he was wearing armor. Okay, doesn't look like they're going to have really anything actually good in their inventory, so I don't think their inventory loot ever changes. It's always the same. What we find in here is the main thing. I'm still working. Ooh, there we go. That's what I want, the alcohol. Um, I'm going to leave behind 50 yellow tickets because I've already got a few hundred yellow, yellow tickets. I think I've got about 900 odd of them. I'll take any of that. And it's the alcohol I need because I keep getting the Raiders task of make the the thing that I was thinking about but my brain's just died. What is the task? Make make kits. There we go. I'm a true genius today. And yeah, nothing that amazing in there. What's the uh, the chest piece is high durability. I guess we'll take that. There we go. We have now absorbed it into part of us. I think we should test out this sniper shot on... Hmm, I'm thinking the Ravager. Yeah, let's try it out at the farm. Every episode of our fully modded series, we've been testing them on the bosses. Let's go for this one. The mercenaries are still here. The time has gone, but the event isn't over. I think that means that the mercenaries are a permanent thing for us now. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, good. I am actually recording. I've forgotten to record so many times. Okay. Ah, that was weird. Ah, there we go. The box is open again. What have you got for me? You cannot make new contracts. Sorry, my people are busy. We're decamping and setting out soon. What? Oh, that can't be it. Why would they leave it on the map? Just to have it leave. That's... Sorry, no offense, devs, but that is a terrible decision to make. Let's target old man Slim. Damn. Ah, well. People are busy with decamping and setting out soon. That is so annoying. Okay, well... Let's go kill the Ravager. Let's test out our lovely sniper shot on a rotten yokel. Let's get as far away from him as we can. Okay, so did 60 damage to the rotten yokel there. That's not bad. Considering most guns do less than 20. Well, the Glock does less than 20. When the Glock's base damage from... I think my Glock's base damage is 27 or something like that. Ooh. Ah, damn. I thought we had the Raider variant. That's a shame. That's... Oh, uh, that's not a... Damn, I was hoping we could try it out on an infected bear there, but that was just a savage giant. Right, if we can get you dead... Thank you. Uh, another savage giant, really? I don't want to be testing it on a savage giant. That's going to be the same as it is for a rotten yokel. So if I could get an infected... There we go. And it's gone. Okay, whatever. Let's test it on a savage giant. Savage giant going from 250 to 195. So yeah, 55 damage to the savage giant as well. However... 55 is still a lot, considering that's what, one-fifth of its health? Yeah, a fifth. Let's um, back away a little bit. Uh, we did a decent amount. What was that, 46 to the infected pool? And oh, with these stability increases, you can shoot for so much longer with this. Okay, let's let that reset, and then we're going to sniper shot the Ravager. Yo, ah, uh, damn it. Oh, I didn't even do the shot, and it still reset the cooldown. Top tip for the Ravager. If you stay away from him, he will never run after you. You can just keep walking away. But if you get too far, then he'll start running. So you want to stay about this distance from him. There we go. Ah, I couldn't see how much that was. I think it did about the same. Another shot of 50. And let's finish him off. There we go. Lovely. That was quite an easy kill. Probably a lot easier still with my trusty Glock method. Or not Glock method, and grenade launcher method. For those that don't know, I basically just use the grenade launch. Wow. That is a lot of zombies there that I can't see and I want to zoom out. Okay, let's take a look at their fight. Uh, it's not as many as I thought. 
I was about to say I reckon we can take them, but we can't actually even get a nice sniper shot on them from there. Here we go. I reckon we can take them. And, oh look, they're suddenly not fighting each other. What is it, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? So I'm killing them, they want to kill me, so they've teamed up to kill me. Come on, you can just all die, let's get our sniper shot reset. Eee. I like it. Doesn't work so well when things are aggroed on you, obviously. Because, well, it wouldn't if you're a sniper. And boom. Well, I guess you're a sniper, so you're still kind of actually being sneaky. Hmm. I don't know. I know nothing about snipering and things of the like. Right, I'm going to end off the fully modded M16 video here. I apologise if it turned out to be a bit of a shorter one. But the town update for Westland Survival has just come out, and I want to record the hell out of that. So thank you very much for watching, as usual, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the end of the fully modded series. We're going to be going in next with probably... Where is it? Uh, do, 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 do. Probably going to go for next... Where am I looking? Oh, I don't think it's actually here anymore. Fully modded Sawblade. I think will be the first part in the next series. The... Oh, okay. Is it still continuing Fully Modded Zoo? This is a really bad outro. I hope you enjoyed the song that's playing in the background and the dancing zombies. Goodbye, everybody.